Okay, how to make a high power Wi Fi jammer. We're not talking just a little bit high power. We're talking <laughs> high power <laughs> if you ever watched Home Improvement. But um, this is 1.2 kilowatts of Wi Fi jamming power. And it's from a microwave. And there's a reason for that, which I'll explain to you. They made what's called the uh, ISM band, which was industrial, scientific, and medical bands were for things that emitted radio waves but did not need to receive anything. So it was not for communication, like microwaves emit but they don't receive like uh, imaging systems at hospitals you know those will transmit but not receive uh, things like that they call it the ISM band and it says specifically if you look at the the uh, FCC definitions that it should not be used for communication should not be used for communication and that's what they did they stuck everything in there they put the uh, they put the Wi-Fi in there in the in the garbage band or ISM band cordless phones Bluetooth devices NFC devices wireless computer networks and in addition to Wi-Fi's um, in fact the noise is so bad in that area that that the Wi-Fi actually has to jump around because there's so much noise and so it's continually jumping around and what happens is since they put the Wi-Fi right in the middle of the ISM band that's also where the microwave is uh, you have your you have your uh, tube there, magnetron tube. Okay, this is the magnetron which puts out 1200 volts or watts that is of RF energy and this here is your cooling fins because like after a couple of minutes, these get really hot because <laughs> I tried it without, without a fan, but that's why there's a fan um, inside your microwave. Here's where you plug in the 2100 volts from the capacitor and there's the magnets in there also. Okay, so I'll show you how I made this. I took a microwave, of course. <laughs> um, I cut out the motor, the dish motor, took out the dish. Uh, the cover that went over it was pretty hard to get off because, because they did not use, use normal screws. So I had to cut a lot of that off. Over here there's a whole bunch of junk for the like for the timer switch and the low high power and uh, plus there was the uh, safety catch if you open the door it shuts it off it's a big thing of wires and I took all that out so I took the cord and that's a fuse right there this is the ground which should be connected um, I took the AC in, connected it to this, which is a step-up transformer. It changes uh, like 120 volts up to like thousands of volts. And this is a this diode's a rectifier, which means you have 2,100 volts on this cap, which could kill you. So. Do not try this 
do not try this yourself because I've had like 30 years of experience. But you could get killed doing this, so don't do not do it. <laughs> but, so anyhow, this tube here requires 2,100 volts. <coughs> so, it's got a little plug-in. It's got a, actually magnets in there. And, uh, it's got a little plug-in. Plug this in. Like so. And what it has now is, it's called a waveguide. This is what actually, let me see here. This is what actually goes into your oven. Um, you only want it to go one direction into your oven. You don't want it to go like out the other side. So, so that's why they made these. It's like direct. This directs the radio frequencies into your oven. Okay. And so I took this out, and what I did is I I put some screws on to a uh, you know, to hold it together, and I, I did a test. I uh, I got a long extension cord. I I was doing a speed test on a Wi-Fi um, PC, and what I did is I pointed this at the route, wireless router because I was at the PC and I, I didn't want to point it at me, of course. So, and I was doing speed tests down in a down to Texas would do speed tests and tell you tell you your internet upload and download time. And uh I plugged this in and it totally jammed it. It the needle stopped. It did not get anything. As far as the range of this, I have not done any testing on that because it's kind of difficult to do testing on that. Uh, plus I have to I have to throw this away. <laughs> I have to throw this away when I'm done because, because my wife doesn't like it. <laughs> but anyway, so if I was actually going to make one, like to take outside and jam stuff, what I would do is um, well, I throw this thing away, of course, and I get a I get a, a steel plate, you know, throw mount all this stuff on the on the steel plate because of the fact that there's a safety ground coming from the plug, the screen wire, which should be connected to the metal piece. So um, everything must be at the, all the grounds would be at the same voltage, which is a safety feature, actually. Um, so that's what I would do. You know, get rid of this whole mar ugly microwave bottom. You know, just buy, you could buy a piece of aluminum too, because it's conductive. Um, and that is probably, I might, I might screw that to like a board just for, uh, just for support and put the aluminum on top of the board. But, uh, since I have to throw this away, I just wanted to share my knowledge with you, and I don't know what the laws are. You would have to check what the laws were. You'd have to, you know, get a qualified electronics person to make it for you and all that stuff, but I'm not sure about the laws and everything, and, and this is going in the trash because of my wife and she's if she's not happy I'm not happy so <laughs> um, this is as far as you'll see this thing go but I did try it like this and it worked so that was my goal was to actually see if it would work so anyway don't try this yourself I don't want anyone getting hurt or killed and uh, have a good day. Bye.